Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Animal Crossing in the town of Badger. Now, today I will start out by showing you my shops because I have a surprise. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Check that out. Timmy and Tommy are remodeling, and I think this is going to be the Emporium. So exciting. Check out Evil Sisters. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Oh yes. Hello, Mabel. Fine day to see you. Um, I have actually bought the blue PJ pants already. Now if you guys would like to see something awesome, let me just show you something. Check that out. I've been working on some QR codes lately, and I didn't actually make these, but I've been sorting through them. Now, the one you just saw was Hatsune Miku. This one is Lulu from Final Fantasy. This one is just a super cute pink kimono. Let's see if you can guess who this is. Check that out. Oh my god. Look at the detail on the back. This is Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Oh my god. Favorite one by far. Check this one out. Um, oh my god. Okay, I can't really do it like her, but that's Lumpy Space Princess. Zelda, Twilight Princess. And Bemo. Which, um, I will actually show you something unrelated to Animal Crossing for just a moment. This is my wallet. So, BMO is a huge thing in my life. I love BMO. Okay. Why is the lighting so strange right now? Okay, there we go. Now we'll go next door. over here. I don't really have anything I want. I did buy the turban earlier. Um, so if anyone's interested in that, feel free to message me and uh, you can have it. And over here we have kicks. I did go in here earlier and there was something I actually wanted to buy. Unfortunately. Yeah, nothing here that I want to buy today. I already have a lot of that stuff. Okay. Moving on. We can go over here. Oops. And here, I can show you, I have the museum expansion. Up here, you can rent display areas to put whatever you want in there, like clothes, statues, fossils, literally anything you can put in your house, you can put in those spaces, which is pretty awesome because now you basically have extended storage because the closet just isn't big enough for some of us. And there's a hair right there. Okay, coming down. Big announcement actually, um, Snake announced his movement, I believe it's tomorrow, so if anyone is looking for Snake, feel free to take him. He's not one of my dream villagers, unfortunately, although he is very nice and he is very fun, but I just can't keep him around. Oh, later today I will be selling my perfect peaches, hopefully. That's how I make the majority of my money, so that's always fun. I have quite a bit of trees. Oop, you get that. Yay! Oh, something cool happened to me today, actually. Um, this is on sale in my museum. So I finally got a silver shovel. 
which is great. The last Public Works project I did was this bridge. So now if you look on my map, I've got a bridge here and my second one, which is here now. It, it was really hard to fit one in here because do you see where my villagers put their houses? This is the crappiest setup I could have hoped for because I wanted to put one up here and I wanted to put one down here because, hello, the space, it would spread them out more than just here and like a step this way there. But I couldn't because my people pick horrible places to live. Although my town's a great place to live, don't get me wrong, it's just like, oh my god. I have not been able to find that fourth fossil. Oh, here we go. Yay! I need to get those checked out. Sell them if I don't have them already. Pear trees. No one's in my campsite today, sadly. I would really, um, like... Well, I'm just gonna say stitches again because I really want stitches. But the chances of him just happening to be in my campsite is, is the percentage is very, very low. But that's okay. Once snake moves, I will have the chance to hopefully get someone great or find someone online who's got someone that they're getting rid of. Typically, I go through Reddit, people on there who are uh, selling things, trading things, and whenever I have people come over to my town, of course, the, the stuff that's out in front of my train station, that's all for those types of trades that I do. Now here, we're going to go down to Club LOL, or LOL, whatever you want to say, and I'm going to give Shrunk a fruit so he will give me a new expression. Because if you want to see, I've got almost my entire first page filled up with the expressions, and that is exciting. I'll turn the volume up so you can hear the joke better. And you just say, I just brought a snack. What did you bring me? I brought a leche. A leche. Sure, sure, I'll wait. Well, Shrunk, we just see, fails at most of the things he tries to do. <laughs> that was a very awkward joke. Most of his jokes are pretty awkward and cringy, so I find myself confused after they end half the time, and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> the character they created for him is great, because it's just kind of like WTF constantly. I'm going to here, let's see, get those added there. Whoop. And now we will try it out. <laughs> Cute. This is one of my favorites. I like that one. That one. Achoo. And that one a lot. Okay. We'll go out of here. Oh, that was pretty fun. I always have to remind myself to do that every day or I'll forget. My dream sweet. I need to move these flowers. I've been collecting my flowers and putting them down near my park. Just to make a nice little area. 
This, of course, is an area Nana pretty much did all of this. <laughs> she just fills up the entire area with flowers, and I can't even stop her. She's so cute, though. It is not a problem with me. Kiss through here and put down. And put that down. And play like this. Okay. Run back up here. I have a few things to drop off at my little sale area. Or my fourth sale area, which is right over here. Lots and lots of stuff. I'm gonna make an ad for it again, for the things I get rid of. I just don't like throwing stuff out. Oops. No, I did not mean to. Well, you can see the turban I have. <laughs> did not mean to do that. Probably gonna sell that now, too. I don't even need it. Go up here. Pretty my fossils checked out and um, donate if I have any that can be donated right now. I am still waiting the coffee shop. That is the one thing I really want. Good <laughs> others, wake up, men. He's so cute, he's always sleeping. He's like me, I sleep so late in the day. And this a fossil. And then I've got these four here. them on display. Jeez, it's so hard to get new fossils. And that's it. Okay. Sadly, I'm going to have to end the video here for today. My battery is dying, and I really don't want it to cut out while I'm in the middle of trying to do something for you guys. Um, I will have another video very soon. Um, I'm probably going to do a live video uh, with one of my friends that's playing with me or a couple of people I have over visiting so you can see what uh, multiplayer is like when people actually visit your town and everything, which is really fun. Um, mostly, most of the time I do play this game, I am playing with friends because it makes the, ex the gaming experience that much more fun. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you had a great time in Badger today, and I look forward to seeing you next time.